Oh, it was? He did it, he did it, instead of his opening of the movie, he did a political statement. <laughs> he did an editorial, because we were all live in those days. He did an editorial? He did an oh, editorial. I thought it was during news, like it, or oh, an interview. No, segment. this was oh. during his movie intro. He decided to correct the news department, of which he was part of. You know, the, the oh word, you know, my the, God. You know, and then he basically, with the four letter words that God blanked, you blank, you know, and I had F words, S words, bastard words, you know, all this coming out, and the guy, and I'm, I'm sitting there, and a director. He <laughs> what the words, you know, he had some words too, like what the, and then he it, it dazzled, it dazzled him so long he let it go on for a while, and he is just in a state, and you 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 had the camera, you just, and he's backing around, and finally he said, get that back, get. Now basically you could just you could hear all the words, you know, you could almost hear him through the through the glass, uh, and you know, you know they just. They, you know, they, they put the movie on, you know, and got him off, and then they interrupted the movie flow for him to make a public apology. It was also his swan song in the broadcasting industry. Yeah. Because when you go off like that, first of all, I think we got hit by the FCC because those were words that were not allowed on television. Oh, God. You know, Prime, we're talking, we're talking the family hour, and he's really going to town. Oh. Basically, you know, I, I've been shooed out by choreographers in my life, but this guy really was a, you could tell his father was a seller, so <laughs> because he had a lot of language, but um, the problem was, this guy was a total uh, right-wing idiot, I mean, he was a Republican right-wing idiot that believed, you know, that these people are trying to destroy our nation, well, he would have been a McCarthy Republican. You know, we can't allow people like this to be on the air spouting their pro anti-American propaganda. What you didn't want to have was a McCarthyist back in the 1950s on your, buddy, on your television station. Mm -hmm. That was a no-no. You know, so you could have a left-winger, but not a guy to McCarthyism. So. But, um, but that's how I know. I mean, I have seen, you know, I guess presidents for since 19... 1942, I think, something like that. That's a long amount of presidents, and I can guarantee you, I told you that this president was going to be as bad as he was. I, I can guarantee you that whoever follows him is going to be worse, and the situation isn't going to get better. I think I'd originally predicted there'd be three presidents down the line before it gets any better, and since we now officially, we hit the double dip today for the stock market, and it doesn't make any difference. <clears throat> If it stays there, it's when it hits it. That's all that counts. It's just like, well, the day I hit my 60th home run, and tomorrow I don't, and, well, you know, I don't hit any more runs in the rest of the season. It doesn't make any difference. You hit the 60th. They hit this just like when you hit the big 7-0, you don't go hit the big 60 again. So, so, but you're stuck with Obama cannot lose. The Democratic candidate cannot lose, and it's got off. It looks like there's no power on earth that is going to keep you from having another four years of, the, of, a, of a Democrat in the White House. I know, and it should have been a Republican in the office. It was a slam dunk. It was a slam dunk. But... It is still a slam dunk. It's just um, none of the people... Okay, if I put, you know, any Republican... Well, here's the only thing that can save the nation from this president which isn't likely to happen, is a floor fight is for the, uh, the convention. Because there's not going to, I'm assuming there's not going to be enough delegates to elect any person president directly. Oh. So a floor fight, I mean, um, uh, uh, you can... You could get somebody from out of the blue. You could get somebody out of the mm -hmm. blue, anybody. They say, well, this doesn't happen that often. This didn't happen with John Kennedy. John Kennedy wasn't running. Oh, really? No, he wasn't running. He was just some guy that they would, you know, he'd go out and make campaign speeches for people. They thought he would be a good man down the road. But what happened was, I think um, there was a Adlai Stevenson, uh, Hubert Humphrey, and um, Lyndon Johnson were in a battle of floor fighting. So what they did was they settled on the dark horse, which was John Kennedy. Kennedy was like, um, like, 
uh, Bill Clinton, he was, not so, he was just a placeholder. You know, you do this and the next time we'll actually nominate you. We know you're going to get your butt kicked. But the problem was, like uh, Bill Clinton, he charmed people on television. He was a natural for television. Uh, the better the two politicians... Well, you could also say that about Obama, because Obama kind of came out of nowhere, too. Yeah, but Obama is a really... Obama sucks on TV, folks. This guy couldn't... This no, guy, but it was all the hope that he gave everybody. I, it was basically... I want it's to tell scripted, you, scripted you know, hope off it, of his television. I want to tell you... Hey, good speech writers. Because I happen to be... You know, my mommy and my grandmothers are Indian, so I can actually say it. It's because he wasn't white that people were, we're going to show people that a minority man can do better than a white person can do. That's the only reason you get the nomination. Mm -hmm. You'd think that if he'd have been white, that, that, that Bill Clinton mm -hmm. wouldn't have chewed up the ground with him for his wife. You don't think that Hillary wouldn't have spit him up and shoot him I out. know, they were so afraid of that. They're still party. afraid of him. This is people, the Republicans over there are scared to death. Herman Cain is the only one that's not scared because he's a black man. They're terrified of Barack Obama because he'll call you a racist. You can't call a minority member a racist. I got blonde but you hair. Don't, so what? So I'm, 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 oh, of course it's easier for me to say because I'm Asian. Because you're, 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 you're a minority. <laughs> I'm a minority too. I'm listed. Census has me listed as a minority, so therefore I must be a minority. And you listed as American Indian. Yeah, I'm listed as American Indian. Well, because it has to be, you see. If my grandparents on both sides of my family and my mother on my side of the family are all pure Indian. Guess what that makes me, folks? Mm. It makes me, boy, your father was fooling around, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, we explained that a long time ago. But, uh, no, but uh, we're looking towards an economic Armageddon. And it, like I said, it, it's irrelevant who gets elected president. It is totally and absolutely irrelevant who becomes president. They can't stop it. Because you can't raise, you cannot raise enough money to cover the debt that is out there, and we cannot make enough money to cover the debt. Look at Greece right now. Greece is basically everything they do makes everything worse. Everything that's being done in Great Britain is making everything worse. Everything that is done is making everything worse, because it's um, why the Great Depression had to happen. Because what happened, World War I jacked the prices up on everything too much. Oh, is that what happened? It everything, all of a sudden, you know, you had all the modernization that was done, everybody wanted more. And so what happened was people bought things that they couldn't afford. I mean, they'd buy, you know, they were buying piano furniture and stuff that they did not have the resources to cover. And those were, people were being hired to produce all this stuff. And then what happened was, the money wasn't there to cover what people were paying for, buying. And the same thing happened now. Um, the housing industry should never have happened. What happened when you put a person that works at McDonald's making $7 an hour in a house in Brentwood? You know you're going to lose that house in Brentwood. Yeah. And that house in Brentwood... Because they never should have been in that house. Yeah. And the problem was, I think, there was like one quarter of mm -hmm. all the people that bought houses bought houses with no money down and, um, and, and, and minimum wage. And, the, and uh, in California, it means you're buying a house worth three quarters of a million bucks on a salary of five, six hundred dollars a week. Basically, it was costing more money. They, they couldn't make enough money a month to make the payments when the next payment, okay, uh, it, it, it works this way. Uh, I, I go back to the thing. I worked on an episode of Banachek where uh, an actor called um, Ed, o, I think, uh, Ed, Ed O'Neill, no, not Ed O'Neill, uh, name, name Edward, Ed, you know, that was his name, Ed. He, um, Ed Nelson, Ed Nelson, he was basically, he told uh, George Parker and Banishek, he said, well, young man, you can just forget about me. He said, I couldn't have possibly did it. And he said, yeah, but you're at the top of the list. He said, young man, you don't know much about business, do you? And he said, well, what do you mean? He said, I sat on top of a gate. He said, if the gate goes either direction, I'm ruined. Mm -hmm. You think that I want anybody to even know that I exist? So you think that I would kill this person? And, and uh, it, I would want to be involved in anything. He said, what happens is I'm spending all of my time now talking to people like you in order to keep from that gate swinging either direction. Mm -hmm. And that's how it works. Uh, uh, if, if the Democrats had not decided to punish people for being wealthy, if they had not decided mm -hmm. to punish business, if they had not decided to 
Remember gasoline went up to about $160 a barrel? Well, that was part of it, is they had not decided to punish the gas company, the oil companies, because they thought they were making too much money. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of you that thought, oh, gosh, they are making so much money, so we should do this. Yeah. Well, you know, here's part of it, is gas is like $4 a gallon. I don't hear this outrage about the oil companies making too much money. Although, we're still paying the left, it at the pump. Yeah, the left still out, is outraged about them making too much money. That's why Obama wants to take the... You know, well, we shouldn't sub we shouldn't give them tax breaks for drilling. Well, actually, I can understand because you're never going to allow any drilling anymore. So, well, I mean, here's but that tax break vanishes immediately because they're no longer drilling. You know, I was talking to a fellow journalist the other day, and she thought, "Oh, gas prices are really reasonable right now." I'm sitting there looking at her like, four dollars is reasonable a gallon?" No, it's not. And that's you know, and that's in the cheaper areas. There's places like it's four and a half. It's almost five dollars a gallon in some parts of LA. You have the same problem that was created when the Democrats took control two years, uh, the last two years of, of uh, the Bush administration, which started to cost mm -hmm. things. The people that are working have to make their decisions. What don't I pay? Mm -hmm. They're not paying the house payment, and they also are not doing what Obama needs, which is to have the internet on. Obama lost all his uh, small and all campaign donors because they no longer have the internet because they can't play it. You, but you, you know, like I said, and uh, when what happens is when you force people to make that decision, do I feed my family or do I pay for the house, they always feed the family mm -hmm. because they know that you, oh, okay, here's the trick is, most people are not bright enough just to make one payment. When you make the payment, it stops the whole procedure. I mean, most people are told, well, just go make a payment and it delays it for another six months or something. No, and I don't even know if you have to make a full payment. I think you just you have, have to make, to make an effort. If you make an effort every month, too, you screw them. Mm -hmm. You'll say, well, I owe $2,000, so I'll pay $1,000 a month. The bank is trapped because you are making a good faith effort. The banks don't want to take your home. They got, basically, they can't give away homes they have right now. They wrote them off. Which is why, you know, there are the problems that are going on. I mean, like the, they said, Bank of America, we're going to charge you $5 more for using your thing a month. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the Democrats are outraged and the Republicans are saying it's simply because you passed a bill that said they can't make money off. They, they no longer can charge a, a, a fee. You know, you, the fee that you're basically, the lug fee, which is basically the fee they charge for using the cards, they're no longer able to charge a fee large enough to cover the cost, but the Dodd-Frank bill gave them the ability to raise fees elsewhere mm -hmm. in order to cover it up. And because uh, what happened when they wrote Dodd-Frank, because the Democrats wanted to get this done to show you how tough they were on banks, they tended to miss, miss a whole lot of pieces, such as the pieces that allowed fees in other areas to be raised. Mm -hmm. So banks have been doing that. They said, well, they're not loaning any money. Well, because they loan money, Obama sues them. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to put you in jail. So. Yeah, but they are increasing your bank fees. So, but they're increasing the bank fees. But, you know, like you said, this, you're going to hear more about this, but until next time, this is all Kim. This is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you, you can, can always go to www.montybubbles.net on the net. And you can also, I think, subscribe to our Newswire, which is a headline service. Mm -hmm. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. Oh, yeah, follow us on Twitter as well as Facebook. Yeah. And we've got multiple accounts, um, but you can go to Monty Bubbles um, on Twitter. You can go to Monty Bubbles, but Monty Bubbles, everywhere. That's our main one, Monty Bubbles. It's in 50-some languages, yeah. so we're very Or Monty Bubbles about. Network on Facebook. Yeah. Yes, thank you. We're over 40 million links. <laughs>